real-time push notifications for reactions in chat. This is not a huge bit of news. And I only mention it because it's a little kind of like nice to have. If you are using chat, you can get a notification now when someone like reacts to your message. I do find sometimes that I'll send a message to someone and rather than them replying and saying, okay, you know, they'll just react with a thumbs up, but I don't know if they've reacted or not with the emoji because I don't get a notification. Well, this will actually send you a notification now. So if that's important to you, you do have the option to turn this on or off, but you can get a notification now when someone reacts to your message and sends you love hearts over the internet. All right, nice little feature. Next up, educated students can now create flashcards, quizzes, and reports in Notebook LM. Now, this is an interesting feature if you're using the Google Classroom where it is available for businesses, but it's primarily for schools and other educational institutions. But the reason I wanted to mention this is because if you haven't already used Notebook LM recently, well, they've released some really, really cool new features. I created one big notebook here, which has got all of our top videos or our top 300 videos from the channel. And all these new features are now a part of Notebook LM. Some of these are obviously education based. So if I wanted to train someone on Google Workspace, I guess I could generate some flashcards. I haven't actually tried this one yet. Let's try some flashcards and see how my knowledge is on my own videos. Hopefully that's pretty good. That's a little bit weird and meta to do that. But some of the other ones that I've demoed recently are you can create a mind map for all the information sitting in a notebook. So if you click onto mind map, it takes all of the information that you've fed this Google notebook and it lets you expand down to every little granular level that you want from the information that you've put in there. Really useful if you've got a whole bunch of information and it's kind of like all jumbled and you wanna make sense of it. That's a really cool feature there. Quiz, again, probably similar to the flashcards, helping you to retain information. Remember, this was initially created as a research tool. And so a lot of these features are designed around helping you to retain and learn and recall information. The audio overview where it creates like a virtual podcast with virtual hosts is designed for you to just listen to the information and take it in via listening. If you're someone who learns via audio, that's a great feature there. Let's try out these flashcards now that they've been generated, see how it goes. All right, so in Google Workspace, what key data type is not transferred when using one button data migration feature during a data account deletion? Damn, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. You know, I would, I'd probably put some of my staff through this. I mean, I, I know they'd all get the right answer. Okay. so. I know that's emails are not transferred. There we go, emails not transferred requires separate migration tools. Okay, and let's go the explain button here. And I guess that's gonna pull from my numerous videos where I've talked about staff offboarding and give us an answer about it. Here we go, cool. You can transfer Google Drive data, calendar data, anything else in the account apart from email. Here we go, and all of these have citations of exactly where they've come from, which is pretty cool. Great, there we go, that's flashcards in Notebook LM. First time I've tried that, very exciting. Reports, don't know exactly what a report is. Okay, I see reports is just a kind of a more structured way of generating different text notes, prepared text notes. So there's even suggested formats that are coming here now, which is pretty cool. I like that. I would probably love to create like a custom format here. I would love to use a gem, which is a predefined set of instructions to implement into my notebook LM because with a gem, I can give instructions on exactly how I want it to respond. For example, if I wanna use this content to make a new YouTube video of like top five features for Google Drive or top five features for calendar, I would want a gem to like define the instructions of how I want my video to be structured, do these bullet points, do this many key topics, here's how you do the intro, here's how you wrap it up, those kind of things. But uh, Notebook LM is just getting more and more and more exciting. If you haven't already, head to the main channel, subscribe, check out our latest video on Notebook LM. It's right here in our latest videos. If you head there, lots of people watching that. There we go, lots of views in the last couple of days. So check out the latest features to Notebook LM there. Okay, if you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.